Hey, yo, you best drop a like on this video right now, or else I won't save your life in Minecraft, alright? I swear to God, it's true. Aww. Anyway, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Benji the Basenji, back at it again with another video, alright? I mean, this is the second channel now. It's kind of kind of a mystery as of right now. Like, seriously, at first, I had no idea what I wanted to do for my second channel, but then finally, a few days ago, whatever, I had an epiphany, and I was like, oh, I want to make a video on how a teen saved a life playing video games. You guys know me. I love video games. I grew up my whole life playing video games, and I'm literally playing a video game in this video right now. That's like a quadruple combo. But yeah, not for real. Let's check this out. He couldn't even been talking he was crying so much and he typed it and he said tonight might tonight's gonna be the night this teen saved a life through playing a video game 14 year old riley howard often plays with friends and strangers recently meeting a 13 year old boy from florida through a game in talking to him, Riley sensed something wasn't right. And what was that exactly? Like, so far, I really just don't understand this video. Like, it's just a regular kid playing video games. How has he saved the life? Are we talking about Fortnite? Did he revive his buddy or something like that? Because I have done that a plethora of times, right? I am a literal gamer. I am the reviver of the revivers. So how come I never got on the news? And finally, he messaged me like, yo, we need to talk. I need to tell you something. So then I hop on a call and he's like, no, you probably don't have enough time. I'm like, what? I'll make time. It's fine make time and then he just starts to open up and cry and tell me everything that's going on the boy told riley he was considering that it was that night oh well jesus christ that escalated but to be fair i'm pretty sure that everybody that's using discord on a consistent basis has gotten like at least 10 people say this and yes before you ask this did take place on discord right you can literally tell by the text it's literally just exactly how it is on discord but either way this is something that even i have experienced so many times in my time over on discord right so many e-girls and e-boys that are like threatening committing cinnamon slide and i'm not saying that if you're telling your friend over on discord about you know the, the fact that you're considering cinnamon slide lie that like you're looking for attention because you know it is a serious matter but for some reason so many people over on discord talk about how they're so depressed and how everything is so bad in their life whatever but they don't actually seek out to get help and it's like at that point bro c come on i i knew that he didn't no one want to be alone and i didn't want you know him to go he's my friend i didn't want him if it, if it wasn't if it was serious i didn't want to have a guy. You know, I rock with this kid. My guy is literally out here saving lives, okay? During the day, he's just like any other 8th grader, just chilling, doing his schoolwork, whatever, but at night, at night is when the superhero comes out of his shell. You know, this kid is like one of those kids that you always want as a friend in your circle, because they always like check up on you and make sure everything is okay. So if an e-girl ever breaks your heart over on Discord, this guy is here to help. My guy's probably got his own Discord server and all, literally dedicated to this exact thing, probably called something like Discord Dr. Matthews or something like that. I don't know his name, but something like that. My guy probably has a profile picture of a doctor holding a clipboard and a stethoscope. This dude will be the biggest psychologist in a few years, trust me. The East Hampton, Connecticut Board of Education is honoring Riley for the heart he showed. But all he thinks he did was lend an ear to help a friend in need. I said, I'm gonna see him tomorrow. I'm gonna be in, I'm gonna be playing with him tomorrow, and nothing's gonna happen tonight. Aw, uh, and how it ends on a wholesome note. I love that. Anyways, it's low-key kind of scary to make videos like these because I know this is like a super touchy subject and whatnot. And obviously, you have to be really careful when it comes to these type of things. Stuff like this really is serious. So if you are struggling with deep, dark thoughts like this, you should definitely go and seek for some help. Talk to your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your therapist, some friends, whatever makes you feel comfortable. And if you don't feel comfortable telling anybody that you know, there is a hotline for all of this. And it's really important for everybody to know that you matter. This turned into an inspirational video real quick. Anyway, yo, with that being said, I think this is... <coughs> <laughs> like, if I'm trying to stay consistent on this channel and the main channel, I kind of have to, like, make shorter videos on here. So, anyway, yo, if you guys did enjoy this video, then please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. You already know I really appreciate it. If you want to go in and follow me over on Twitter, then you can. It's at RDBenji. And if you don't have Twitter, but you have Instagram, don't worry, my friend, because I already got you, brother. You can find me over on Instagram, too, at TheRDBenji. And uh, with all that being said, I love all you guys so much. Keep 100, and I'm out. Peace, peace.